every Wednesday, everybody. It's a great night here in Dunedin. Fantastic. Sun is shining, beautiful and hot. Um, tonight, I'm going to uh, show you my um, sort of beer gun that I've made, or beer, beer, my, my bottling system that I've made. But first and foremost, I need to say thanks to everybody who posted comments uh, two weeks ago about my refractometer issue. And looks like I didn't do enough research, did I? Yeah, that's right. Basically, the minute we put it into the fermenter, the refractometer is useless as the alcohol in interferes with it. So, uh, just when I was starting to think I bought a dub piece of equipment, no fears. Anyhow, on Thursday it's time for a beer. Uh, I've got a couple of beers there, uh, one, another one from Zane Maxwell and one from uh, Nathan McKenzie, who I caught up with last week, and Dean McDonald. Uh, those beers will have to wait tonight because we're going to bottle the beer out of the keg using the new system. And then we have to drink it. So, right, let's get into the new system and see how it works, eh? So first and foremost, here is the end of my new um, of of my keg, um, and this is a quick disconnect. Uh, it's fantastic. I'll just show you the attachment. Here's an attachment, and they just go in like so. They lock in, um, and when I need to change it, I just pull it up here, and oh out it comes. Fantastic. So I can change between distant, dif different systems depending on what kind of gas I need um, as, as part of my system at the time. So let's connect that and then let's have a look at the bigger picture. Okay, so looking at the bigger system, gas comes in over here, it's split at a junction point but effectively we've got gas now being um, pumped into the corny which is pretty standard, that's what we, we know. But it's tapped out through the side here, and we have this device. Sorry, there it is there. Sorry. Here's the device that it comes into. This is an off-on switch, so I can, um, with my gas, I can basically um, turn it off, off and on. And um, to be honest with you, I've got some changes I might do to the system, but at the moment it's working. So the gas. One comes in, and I've just simply attached to this one of these fillers here. So if I flick on some gas, I'm trying to turn some gas, yep, and up in here, see that? So effectively, what I can do here is put my bottle under here, yep, so you can see there, I can put my bottle under there, and I can flush it. Let's try and do that now. A bit difficult while I'm, but there you go. Bottle's flushed with CO2, and then what I do, sorry, is this goes under here with the picnic tap. Sorry, it's a bit, and I can fill it. There's going to be too many problems. It's all pressurised wrong at the moment, but effectively, um, but I'm going to do it properly. I'll sort out the gas in a minute, the gas pressure, and then I'm going to show you how I fill it. This is a tick picnic tap which effectively comes off the side here. Cheap. And again, these bottle fillers fit conveniently so on the end, like so. And we can use this to fill. So it is a double movement. But anyhow, let me just get the pressure on this organised. Let's have an overview look of it. Gas flushing, move to the second stage which is filling the beer, and then we quickly cap it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is flush the bottle with CO2. So we put the bottle in. You can hear that. Start flushing it with CO2. Take it over here. It's always good to do this in a bottling bucket as such. Put this in. And you can now see the beer bottle, which is CO2 flushed, is filling very slowly. Probably fill it a little bit quick, turn out the pressure, but just to be safe. And here, like so. And um, that's pretty much it. That's how we do it. On to capping. 
Okay, so that just leaves us with the last task of pouring the beer. The, uh, it's only had a couple of days on the carb that beer, so it's just a little bit under, but pretty nice looking drop. Pretty happy with that. Uh, this first little bit that's coming out, it's just got a little bit of impurity in there, but uh, just notice the next lot coming through is pretty clear. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to leave it there this week. Um, I just want to make my SJ Paul video about my idea for the competition. Um, as predict, well, if you watched last, my thing last week, you yeah, won't be uh, conforming to beer style. My recommendation, but anyhow, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Catch you next week.